Hi, I'm Tony Fowle. Uh, this is uh, just one video in a series of tutorial videos showing uh, how to use my uh, motorcycle setup software, uh, which you can see more details of on my website at uh, www.tonyfowle.com. This attitude button gives us access to a quick calculator for getting an idea of the effects of attitude change on a motorcycle from changing the ride height at front and rear. Basically, the, the values uh, that we see in the pale yellow boxes are the base setup for the bike that we're investigating. We, we, can, we can change them uh, directly like this. We can easily change to 26 degrees or 23, for example. Okay. But the purpose of the calculator is to give us an idea if we make some normal setup type changes. And those are the values that we enter into these brighter yellow boxes. And these are these are the changes that we make, okay, not the actual values of it. Uh, so for instance here, let's say that we were wanted to raise the rear right height by uh, 25 millimeters. Okay, we're just entering 25 millimeters here. A positive number represents that we're raising the ride height uh, rather than lowering it. Is how we raise the ride height. What we do in the uh, general settings of the suspension here uh, is is not relevant at this particular point. All we're concerned with is the amount that we've actually raised the right ride height. If that's all we want to investigate, then we just simply press the calculate button. Here it will show us the base case. Uh, values for the front to rear load distribution which in this case was 50-50 because the loads on the wheels were specified as being equal. Uh, these are the actual values in kilograms of the load on the wheels that we specified on the graphic. Okay, center of gravity height of 650 millimeters, wheelbase 1450, uh, the initial swing and arm angle is 8, rake angle 23 degrees, trail 88. Okay, here we see the change case, the results of having raised the rear right height by 25 millimeters. We see that we've put a little bit more load onto the front, taking a bit off the rear, so we've got 0.8 of a kilogram more on the front, and uh, obviously that's come off the, the rear. The center of gravity height is ridden by a little bit over 11 millimeters. It was uh, uh, 650 originally. Uh, the wheelbase has uh, shortened by 4 millimeters. Uh, the swing arm angles increase to uh, 10 degrees from 8. The rake angles decrease 1 degree, 22, and that has been the result of shortening the trail down to 82 millimeters. Okay. If we wanted to make this our new base case, we only have to click on this button, and then uh, all these other values, the uh, height of the swing arm and height of center gravity and so forth, uh, new rake angle, will be put in as our new base case. Uh, in, incidentally, on uh, the screen here, if you let the uh, mouse curf cursor hover over uh, any of the date entry boxes, you get the little hint fly out screens to uh, tell you what the values are that should go in there. Okay, let's just knock this back to zero again. At the other end, uh, we can change the fork tube height movement. Now, in this case, a positive value is when we lift the forks up in in the fork yokes or fork uh, clamps. It's rather the other uh, way. The sign convention uh, here is positive when we raise the right height. Here it's positive when we raise the forks, which actually decreases the front right height. But this is the way in which most people uh, refer to these things. Okay, so let's just say we um, uh, raise the, uh, the, the forks. Uh, again, 25 millimeters in their uh, fork yokes. We press the calculate button, and here we see the differences. Um, again in uh, the appropriate values. Okay, let's knock that back to, to zero. This value here is in multiples of two is the number of chain links removed or added to the chain. Uh, if we change the uh, move the wheel backwards or forwards in the swing arm and change the chain length to, to compensate, obviously we'll, we'll change such things as the wheel base, uh, we'll change the effective length of the swing arm, but because the swing arm is normally on a uh, considerable slope, uh, this will also change the values of the swing arm pivot. So if we put uh, a number of chain links in here, 
the software will calculate all these changes in things like the uh, uh, swing arm, pivot height, etc. Uh, so let's just add two links to the chain. We'll make it uh, uh, longer. The uh, oh, by the way, the pitch of the chain is as it is specified on the rear suspension screen. Okay, so now we can calculate and here again we have the results of what effect that has. We've got a the center of gravity has been uh, raised one millimeter that's because um, uh, uh, length, lengthening this is obviously in, increased uh, all of these parts. Let's put that back to where it was. Naught. And this final quick change value is actually the change in the fork offset. Uh, often uh, it might change forks or um, uh, sorry, change fork clamps, uh, but some uh, clamps now also have adjustment built into them. So it's very even though this is the value of the offset and normally this would be a change in the offset. So <coughs> if we decrease that, we'd expect to get an increase in trial. So let's uh, decrease that by say three millimeters and calculate and we see now that the trial value has actually gone up from 88 to 91 and a half um, also notice that the wheelbase is shortened because as we bring the yoke offset back we obviously bring the front wheel back okay now any of these we can make as our new base case if we wished well, that's it for now. Uh, to make sure that you don't miss any uh, more of these tutorial videos on the motorcycle setup software, I suggest that you tick the like button on this one and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Motor Chassis. Uh, for more information about the suspension setup software and uh, my book on chassis design, I suggest you visit my website at uh, www.tonyfoll.com. Thanks for watching.